Hello, welcome back to Ranked A to Z, a series where I win with each pet in the game at level three from A to Z in ranked mode. Uh, today we're taking on a tier one from the unicorn pack and that is the Axe Handle Hound. Uh, the Axe Handle Hound, if the enemy has multiple copies, it'll deal a bunch of damage to them. And honestly, I think it's a pretty stupid pet. <laughs> it's like, it's I guess it's an, a unique ability, but also 10 damage on a tier one is kind of crazy. Like, you think, if you think about it, like you can have like, I don't know, pick a couple tier sixes. Like if I had like double Manticore, you have one Axe Handle Hound, you just kill my tier six with a tier one. Huh? Like, why is that okay? I don't know. But you know, I do buy it all the time anyway, because it is just such a rude pet. I think I talked about this in the last Ranked Data Z. It's such a rude pet. Like if I bought one here, like horse and cricket, all that'd be dead. It's just so mean. Oh man. And you know, I will keep abusing it until it gets changed. I do hope it gets changed though. Either make it a higher tier or change some of the building. Maybe if you made it like, it's a tier one, right? Maybe you make it do like, I don't know, six damage or something. That would like be a little more fair for a tier one while still kind of keeping its identity. I don't know, but we're going to try and win with it at level three here today. Now, we have not run into one yet, but that's OK. Uh, we are in two player ranked lobbies because we want to. We're going to be one on one faster because we're doing a tier one. Don't want to drag the game out, especially with Accidental Hound. Accidental Hound in versus is really annoying, like on turns one and two. But after that, people just don't buy duplicates and then it doesn't really do anything. That's what I've learned using it so far in ranked mode. But man, oh man, can it really be annoying if you know when to play it. Um, I do find an accidental hound in the shop here to decide just to uh, hang on to it. I don't know why I'm freezing all those pets. I guess I really wanted to drop Baron of Frostwolf. I don't know. I've been using Frostwolf a lot too. I mean, it's such a great pet. That frost can do so much damage early. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to pick up the Frost Wolf and the Axe Handle Hound and the Drop Bear as well. Get rid of the Bunyip. Bunyip's another tier one that's just kind of crazy for a tier one. It can get so much health. It's just like, I know they want to make all these tier ones have like cool, unique abilities, but like, man, they just kind of overtune some of them <laughs> to the detriment of the pack. Honestly, like tier ones and twos are really good in the pack. And then like tier threes are sometimes good, sometimes not. Also, that's why I was doing Drop Bear, right? Because they're running a summon team. So I was like, double Drop Bear will totally destroy them and I was right. Um, I think I'm going to look for some more Axe Handle Hounds here. Save the Frost Wolf for a level up next turn. I'm still at five hearts. I'm rocking good. Even though I only have one Axe Handle Hound, I think having, a, uh, having the hearts here is really important. And I know I'll find some more here. I find one right there and freeze it in the shop. Now my opponent here, do they adapt? No, they buy another pet to get sniped by the drop bear. So look at that. Oh, look at that dude, the badger. That was pretty clutch for me. Um, I do lose there sadly, but still it's like, are they even paying attention to what happened last battle? I totally just destroyed him. You know, it will make it a uh, level two so that it does even more damage to them next time. I uh, level up the frost wolf will grab a crisp as well. So now I can have a crisp take out the horse and then the drop bear can take out the dog, hopefully. And then the snipes here from the uh, tiger beetle will take out the summons. I've got a really nice kind of counter to their summon team right now. Let's see if they adapt. Here we are. And nope, they got a whale though. That's pretty cool. Well, there goes the horse. There goes the drop bear. And look at that. We are just completely deleting that team and we win. Now we are uh, looking for more accidental hounds. I find one there, decide to save the level up for next turn. Maybe I can find a nice tier six, like, I don't know, like a Quetzalcoatl, maybe a Team Spirit. A Manticore would be really nice because I'm running all these ailments. That'd be cool too. Um, and we'll buff up our stats of our accidental hound a little bit because I know I'm going to be keeping that for the long haul. Grab the Magic Beans because I might sell the Doom uh, Beetle next turn, Doom Beetle, Tiger Beetle for uh, Nerf Pet. Look, they got a Garlic on their dog as well, but we still kill it in one hit. It's like, bro. Oh, I just remembered. Okay, I remembered it. Okay, I recorded this like I'm doing this voiceover like a week after I recorded it. So this person, I the accidental hound took me like five tries and I faced this person like two or three times and they exclusively played summon teams. They would play nothing else. Like it didn't matter. They would always get like horse and cricket and then dog and sheep and spider and all this stuff. That's all they would run. And I lost to them a couple times in some close matches, but this time it's a little bit, uh, it's, it's a little bit closer because I've learned how they play. And so that's why they haven't adapted. Look at this. We kill the shark in one hit. 
And then we kill the horse in one hit. And they have a deer. I don't care. Oh, I do care. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot how much longer this battle is. Uh, we get the egg onto the accidental hound, not because I intend to sell it, but because that five damage snipe can possibly kill a summon in one hit, and that's what I really need right now. I'm also looking to level up my, um, my red dragon here, just to get even more crisp damage. Look, they changed up the order of their team. Crisp takes out both of them thanks to the manticore, and now they just have zombie flies everywhere. And look at that, 15 damage with the crisp plus the uh, frost there. So that's looking really good, frost cold, whatever it's called. Still looking for more Axe Handle Hounds, but I'm feeling pretty good, you know? I am drawing now instead of losing, so that's a great start. Uh, we get our Axe Handle Hound to... Do I get to level 3 here? I don't even remember. I do pick up Behemoth. That's another thing I decided to pick up, is I want to really... I want to level up my Behemoth just so I have a lot of... Um, just have some big stat unit to soak up all the damage from all their pets. Plus, you know, it'll hopefully uh, get rid of this uh, deer at the front that's really annoying. We kill the shark and the horse again in one hit. Uh, but then the uh, bus comes back and we lose that time. But that's okay. A little more stats on my behemoth and I'll be fine. Let's probably put a different pet behind the behemoth just so it doesn't get killed by the chili splash damage. But oh well. Maybe I put the... Ooh, I should put the frost wolf back there. Then like the double bus will uh, trigger the uh, frost and that'd be pretty cool. Uh, we buy a pita bread for our behemoth because that'll be really nice against their summons. It's going to keep getting stats and being stronger and stronger against their summon team. Uh, are we going to kill their shark and horse again? Yes, they do not learn. They are never going to reposition. I guess the fly is putting in more work than both of them combined. But now at this point, they get our, they get their fly to level 2, so we draw there. But if I can get some levels on my behemoth here, I think I can really put a dent in them. Ooh, level 2 manticore? Yes, please. More frost damage. I don't know if it's really necessary against these summons, but man, is it fun. You know, you guys know I love some manticore. I'm a big fan of the manticore. Even doubling up the manticore, though I hope they nerfed that. That's kind of stupid. Now they got turkey shark, and they both die. And then we got the frost here. 37 damage, 22 damage, 20 damage, and we take the win. So now they are on the back foot. We actually won that pretty darn comfortably. Now we're just going to look for some more levels on some pets. We got our accidental hounds to level three. So now we're just kind of flushing out our team. Uh, we'll take the magic beans there because like I said before, the golden egg can hopefully take out a summon. Um, let's see what happens here. And now they got tiger shark and it dies instantly. They do not learn, but they have level three fly now. But our behemoth survives every single pet until we get to the fly. And that's super clutch. That's why I leveled it up as quick as I could. Now we're looking really good. We'll level up the red dragon. Maybe I can get to level three and take out the fly as well. That's the hope. But we'll need one more level to do that. Our behemoth is now 30-30. And now, I think if I was paying attention, I think the chili splash damage killed the frost wolf, and that's pretty cool. Let's see, that's one. That's two. Oh, never mind. Look, the chili's at the horse is at the wait, chili, what? The bus is at the back. What the heck happened there? I was not paying attention. Oh! They sold their turkey and bought a second deer, and they totally forgot about my axe handle hound, and so it just deleted at the beginning of the turn. That's funny. Uh, we'll buy some oranges here to live some summons. We don't find the level 3 red dragon, but you know what? We'll juice up our pets just a little bit more. Why not? Get our uh, frost wolf up to 7 attack. I don't know. Why not? We're basically going to win at this point against this summon overlord right here. Last match. Can we take the win? They still run the double deer, and they put a mushroom deer at the front, which was interesting. We snapped up with the accidental hound. Behemoth cleans up most of the rest, and then we take the win right here. Oh yeah, uh, accidental hound took me five tries. I'm pretty sure like two or three of those were against this opponent, so it's nice to get some revenge. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the generic stuff. I'll catch you next time, and as always, stay true.